Hi, good evening, Lourdes and Ray. Well, dozens of Red Cross volunteers from the Chicago area actually made it to Florida several days before Hurricane Ian hit, and others are flying down in the days to come to help lend a hand. While the majority of people getting out of Florida are escaping Hurricane Ian, Samantha Joyner's family trip from their home in Lakeland, Florida to Chicago is for a different reason. We're going to see the Cubs. As Hurricane Ian slammed into Florida's Gulf Coast Wednesday afternoon, Samantha says she sandbagged her house, hoping that will protect it while she and her family are away. They're expecting anywhere from 24 to 30 inches of rain in our area. So we've sandbagged our garage and kind of praying that everything goes OK. The enormous life threatening storm has people trapped in homes surrounded by major flooding and enduring mass power outages. While more than 2 million people were urged to evacuate, hundreds of Red Cross volunteers are headed to the disaster to help out. I'm not too nervous uh, uh, to go. And as soon as I hit the ground, I will actually get more information on what it is that I will be doing. American Red Cross volunteer Yasmeen Clinton is scheduled to fly from Chicago to Florida Thursday to join other volunteers sent to help the many people impacted by Hurricane Ian. Yasmeen says about 13,000 people spent Tuesday night in Red Cross and partnering shelters across Florida. She's looking forward to helping many of those people cope with this disaster. I get to interact with the clients a lot, which for me, that's very gratifying because I get to help them on their next step. Along with the Red Cross volunteers lending a hand, David Hoke, the CEO of MedCall Healthcare, a healthcare staffing firm, is pleased that dozens of MedCall nurses, mostly out of Florida, are volunteering their expertise while staying at a shelter in Lee County, Florida, providing medical care and a range of other services. They're doing everything. They're serving food. They're cleaning up. They're, you know, potentially moving garbage and just doing anything that's asked of them. After making it through previous storms, Samantha knows what she could come home to, but past experiences keep her optimistic. Irma came over our house a couple years ago and it worked out, so we're hoping for a similar Pretty outcome. It was Wrigley or Hurricane. All right, so if you are interested in helping out through the Red Cross, you can learn more by clicking on this story on our website at WGNTV.com. For now, reporting live in the Medical District, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.